But then when one of the persons who was supposed to pay me, and I had not known about at least how you collect money for criminal cases, and he was supposed to bring me the money, and he shamed, and he told me he couldn't pay me because he had to pay for his television. You know, I didn't have a television. So anyway, for those things that made me, some of those experiences made me know that at least the criminal practice was not, not, not for me. The civil rights cases that I was taking, I, would, I took those, and, I, and one of the things that led to others, I mean, I, took, I, with, I was working with, with uh, Redmond because St. Louis Housing Authority, not the St. Louis Housing Authority, St. Louis Board of Education, had, a, had an issue that the NACP was planning to file suit on, and I went to, went to Sydney Redmond and said, I'll be available to help with this case, and so they accepted that they were glad because they needed, and so there were three of us, four of us, Bob Witherspoon and I, who were attorneys in that case. So that was actually the first case in 1949 that, in fact, I, uh, one of the attorneys of record challenging racial segregation in public schools. They had two uh, technical high schools, Washington Technical High School for black students, Hadley Technical High School for white students. They then decided to put a course in airplane mechanics at the white school. The Bruden, brother, Bruden brothers saw this in the paper about it, and they, by this time, they were all interested in, in airplanes and all, so well, they, they saw that was going, they and were they, high they were high school students, mm -hmm. and they, I don't know where they were going, but anyway, they wanted to go to Hadley and take this course. Of course, their, their father went to the, prince, to the school, and they were denied. In the meantime, the NACP got into, learned about this. We took the appropriate first steps to take, and of course it was denied, so we filed suit in circuit court, state court, circuit court, against the Board of Education. Because even when they, we had segregation, but it was under supposed, the so-called separate but equal clause. So therefore our position was that it was unconstitutional because they had this course and they were, they were denying it to the brother, there were three of them really, brothers who wanted it. So the circuit judge decided in our favor that the Board of Education could not have this course for white students and not have it for black students. And the Board of Education appealed to the Supreme Court of Missouri on the basis that the law required segregation. We did our, you know, filed the briefs, traveled to Jefferson City, Redmond argued the case before the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court decided, affirmed the decision of the circuit court, no, you cannot have a course in airplane mechanics for white students without having it black. So that mandate was issued to the Board of Education. So the Board of Education then had, was instructed that they could not do that. And so what they did was they closed down the course for the white students.